Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Mr. Bonhomme. Hopefully you can hear me out speak up this time. But in our previous lessons, we've done a lot of work with area and perimeter. And remember, area is the measure of the number of unit squares needed to cover a surface. So within a shape. And remember, a flat surface, 2D shapes, within that we can find how many squares will fit in there, and that's the area. The perimeter is the distance around a figure. We've done a lot of work with this already. A square unit is a square with the side length of one unit. When we are finding the perimeter, we're trying to count how many units in, or around the entire shape or figure. Unit square, that's a unit to measure area, such as square foot, square meter, and so on when it's specific but usually we just say blank unit squares but if we know what we're talking about we'll say blank square feet all right just a little recap our main course for today what is the perimeter what is the area you think you know you and you believe in yourself that you can give this a try pause the video try to find the perimeter and also try to find the area once you gave it your best try resume the video and I'll go over it. all right hopefully you gave it a try maybe you found the perimeter and you just need a little bit of a review for the area or maybe you were able to find the area and maybe you forgot what to do with the perimeter. Let's take a look. Remember, for the perimeter, it is the distance around the figure. So let me get my helpful drawing tool. And I'm going to outline the perimeter. It is the distance around the entire figure, just like a fence. All right. So we already have the number seven here. We have the number four, and M stands for meters. We have one meter, three meters, and we have five meters. There's some missing parts, though. I see a missing length right here, a missing length right here, and a missing length over here. There are three missing lengths. Maybe you noticed that when you were trying to find a perimeter. Maybe you noticed that when you were trying to find the area also. Well, let's take a look. First, I'm going to try to find the perimeter. I'm going to add up all the side lengths. But first, I have to figure out what these missing side lengths are. See, let me erase this since we know what the perimeter is now. I notice that this side is the same length as this side. So that means that this right here is four meters. It's not a mystery anymore, ladies and gentlemen. We use what we have. Use your eyes. Look at the rest of the figure to help you out. The clues are there. We have enough information. So, um, let me take the question mark off of that. Oh, let me circle this back. So we know this is four meters, then we know this is four meters. Now we have to determine these two missing links. Hmm. Let me just go to this one. What other information in this figure could help me out? Well, if I look all the way on the other side, this is five meters. And they are identical. As if, imagine if I had closed this whole entire thing, it would be a rectangle. So that means that the opposite sides have to be equal. So that means that this over here is 5 meters. Cool. I'm still missing this side right here. But I have enough information to help me out. Hmm. Let me use a different color. I need to find out this length 
right here. What could help me out? Well, this side up here could help me out. Seven meters. Because it looks like this smaller part, this unknown side, can actually be a part of that seven meters. And it looks like these two sides can help me figure out what is actually missing. Hmm. This whole entire side is seven. That means that if this entire side is seven, this whole distance should be seven also. So I already have a three and a one. Three plus one equals four. If I need this whole distance to be seven meters and I already have four, that means that this missing section would be three. Because three plus three equals six plus one more would equal seven, which was on the top. So I found all of the measurements, all of the dimensions of the lengths in this shape. Now I have to add them up. I have a seven. Check that off. Plus five. I'll check that off. I have a four. So I'm adding four. I check that off. I'm gonna add this three. And I'm checking off so I remember what I used. I had another three. So I'm gonna add another three. I have a five. So I'm adding a five. I have a one. So I'm gonna add a one. And then I have this last four meters. So I'm gonna add that four. So Yep, I checked off all the numbers in the shape. Let's get started with the adding. 7 plus 5, 12. Use the 7 and the 5. 4 plus 3 is 7. And I bet there's probably an easier way that you can combine these numbers. You give it a try. This is just the way that I'm doing it in this video. 3 plus 5 is 8. I use this 3, I use this 5. 1 plus 4 equals 5. I use this 1, I use this 4. Next, I'm going to combine this 12 and 8 to get 20. 12 plus 8 equals 20. Then I'm going to combine this 5 and 7. 5 and 7 equals 12. I'm going to cross those out now. So all I'm left with is a 20 and a 12. 20 plus 12 is 32. And since we are trying to find the perimeter, it is 32 meters. So I will put a crown on that. But I'll make sure that I write the letter P for perimeter equals 32 meters. Cool. Now, what I want to make sure I do also is find the area. And I know this might be long, but this is a lot of good math. You're challenging yourself, and I'm proud of you. Let's erase some of the stuff that I have up here because it is kind of messy. We don't need that. We still want to keep the links. We still want to keep the links that we... Work so hard and find it. But now we need to find the area. And remember, the area is the amount of squares that can actually fit within a shape. We don't really see squares. But we have the dimensions of the shape. And that could help us out. And we can use our skills of decomposing. Watch what I do. What I'm going to do is... I'm looking at how I can decompose this shape into smaller rectangles to help me out. 
How about if I cut this right here? And I make a rectangle here. Boom. Perfect. And what if I make a rectangle right here? Perfect. And what if I just kept this last rectangle over here? Now, I could put multiplication equations in each rectangle to help me find the area. The length times the width. This right here would be 5 times 3, which equals 15 square meters. Because this whole entire side was 5 and this was 3. Now, when I look at this rectangle over here in the middle, I see that this side down here is 3. But I'm curious to know about this side. Hmm. Well, if this whole entire side over here was 5, let me change the color. If this whole entire side was 5, but I don't have that entire side, I basically have four meters off of that. That means that this side has to be only one meter. So this is easy. This is a one times three. And you might have decomposed this whole shape differently. This is just the way that I'm doing it. So this is three square meters. And I'll try to circle it. I know that's pretty tiny. Three square meters. I had 15 square meters over here. And now I'm left with this last rectangle. I see that the length is five and the width is one. So I'll put an arrow. Five times times, come on, one equals five square meters. And M stands for meter. So for the area, this rectangle was 15 square meters. This rectangle was three square meters. And this rectangle over here was one square meter. All I have to do now is add those up to find the area of the entire shape. So 15 plus 3 plus 5. 5 plus 15, that is 20. 20 plus 3 equals 23 for the area. But when we find area, we're trying to find how many square units. And actually, we know that these are meters. So the proper way to do this would be 23 square meters. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is our area. You could just put A on your paper. I know this was a lot of work, but I know that it also challenged you to find the area and to also find the perimeter of not a rectangle, but in a regular shape, a shape that does not have equal sides all around. This was how we figured it out. You might have figured it out in a different way. You can always go back and rewind the video to learn more. This is Mr. Bonhomme. I hope you got some new information out of this, and I'll see you next time. Found the area and the perimeter.